Hello friends and welcome to our Lake Point Kids online family experience. I'm Ms. Rachel and I'm so happy you're joining me today. I have a question for you. Do you like to build? So do I. And today I'm in the mood to build lots of things, so I started building with some Lego. And that was really fun. But then I started to think, what else could I build with? What else could I make a tower with? And I thought, what about some Play-Doh containers? Play-Doh containers, we just maybe don't use them for Play-Doh, we could build a tower with them. Let's see if this works, okay. I wonder how tall we can get it, friends. What do you think? Oh, it's getting a little wobbly. Be careful. Whoa. Do you think we can go higher? Can we go higher, friends? Ooh, can we go higher? Let's try one more. Ah! <laughs> well, that was fun. But what else could we build with? What else could we use? I know, what about bean bags? Let's try that. All right, I have a bucket of bean bags here. What if we just stack them one on top of each other? Let's see what happens then. I don't think it'll be as wobbly as our Play-Doh containers as we get taller for careful. Let's see. I wonder how tall we can get this. I think there's lots of things we could build with. Lots of different materials we could use. All right, let's see. Think we can go a little higher? I think we could, let's try. A little more. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Well, that was fun. All right, but what else could we build with? What else could we make a tower with? Oh, I have a really good idea. Hold on. Look, friends, I have a box of donuts. Let's see if we can build a tower with donuts. Hmm, all right. Smell really good. I think I have to share these with some people afterwards. How high do you think I can build this tower, friends? Let's see. That's a small donut. Let's see, it's so stuck on top. Oh, whoops. <laughs> well, that was fun. Well, I think this was my favorite tower, friends. It looked pretty yummy. You know, we have a Bible story today about someone who had to build something. Not a tower, but a wall. And they didn't use uh, Lego or bean bags or donuts. Let's go learn more about this story right now at the clubhouse.
know what time it is. It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have learning together. So let's go down, go down to the clubhouse with Ollie and his friends. Let's go down, down, down to the clubhouse where wonder never ends at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you at the Wonder Clubhouse. Me and you. Hey friends, it smells so good in here today. I didn't buy these donuts from a store. I wanted to make some of my own. There was one little problem. I don't know how to make donuts by myself. So I got some help. Miss Kathy Sue next door made the donut dough. And Zoe's uncle baked the donuts. And finally, I frosted and decorated the donuts. And now, here they are. So many people helped make these marvelous donuts. And that's what makes them so special. Hey, do you want to take a bite and see if you like it? Here you go. What do you think? Who? Who? Hey, it's Ollie. Hello, Luca. Who? Who? I hope you're doing well. I can't help but sniff a delicious smell. Yeah, Ollie, I made my very own donuts. Well, actually a lot of people help make them. Making donuts is great. It's true. I'm glad you had people to help you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Hoo, hoo. Follow me through. Wow, Stormy Jane, that is a really big ball. Do you need some help? Oh, hi, friends. I'm Carrie the dog walker, and this is my best dog, Stormy Jane. Well, wait, where did she go? There you are. Oh, you went to get your friend Pepe to help. Thank you, Pepe. It's good when friends help, especially when you have a big job that you can't do on your own. In fact, that reminds me of a story. Do you want to hear it? Okay, great. This true story from the Bible begins with a city wall. That's right, a very, very big, big wall that went all the way around the city of Jerusalem. The wall was built to keep people safe, but now there were so many holes in the wall that it did not keep the people safe anymore. It needed to be fixed. This is Nehemiah. Say hi to Nehemiah. Hi, Nehemiah. When Nehemiah heard the wall had holes in it, it made him very sad. Everyone show me your sad face. Yes, very sad, just like Nehemiah. Nehemiah wanted to do something about the broken wall. So he prayed to God and decided to fix it. But he was just one person and the wall was really, really big. Could Nehemiah fix it all by himself? No, he needed help. On the count of three, everyone yell, please help. Ready? One, two, three. Please help. Do you hear anyone coming? Wow, lots of people came to help fix the wall. God is good. Say it with me. Who is good? God is good. All of the people that came to help worked on different parts of the wall. Some people worked on a gate. Some people worked on a tower. Some people fixed this part of the wall. So many people came to help. The people all worked together until one day, the wall was finished. Everybody celebrate, hooray! God is good. Say it with me, who is good? God is good. Nehemiah was thankful God had given him people to help him. God is good. God gives us people to help us too. Have you ever tried to do a really big puzzle all by yourself? 
It's better when someone helps us put the puzzle together. Or have you ever had to clean up a whole room? When one person cleans up the blocks and someone else cleans up the crayons and someone else cleans up the cars, then the job gets done quicker. When we look around and see people helping, we can say, God is good. Say it with me. God is good. Oh, hi, Ollie. Ollie, tell me, who is good? God is good. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is good? God is good. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Bye. So there is your story, and it's all true. God gives you people to help you. Who? Who? Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow! God gives us people to help us. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. Get it? Got it! Good! Oh, I just had an idea. I'm gonna give each one of these donuts to people who help me so they will know I'm thankful for them. This one's for Officer Flores. This one's for my teacher. And this one's for Coach Tom. I can't wait to show them these delicious donuts. Bye! Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107.1 Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good. Psalm 107.1 Nehemiah had some building to do, but it wasn't just a little tower he was building, but a wall. A really long, really tall wall that went all the way around the city of Jerusalem. But this wall needed a lot of fixing. So Nehemiah prayed to God and decided he would help fix the wall. But it was too big of a job for just one person. It was too big of a job for just two people or three. Nehemiah needed a lot of help. He asked people to help him, and they did. They all came to work hard and do what needed to be done. After a while, the wall was fixed. Nehemiah was thankful that God had sent so many people to help him. God has sent people to help you too, friends. People like your parents who make you dinner, people like your teachers who help you learn to read, people like your bus driver or mail person or doctor or delivery truck driver. God gives us people to help us just like God gave Nehemiah helpers. God gives us helpers because God is good. Today, friends, I want you to find something other than blocks to build a tower with. Maybe puzzle pieces, pillows, books, train tracks, you decide. Ask people to help you build your tower. Then thank them for their help. Parents, as you help your child build their tower, talk about what people are in your child's life who are helpers and how God has sent those people to help them because God loves them. Parents, now is the time to either scan the QR code on the screen or head over to the Lake Point app to fill our online connection card. Signing our guest book lets us know who is watching and helps us stay connected to you. It also allows you to sign up for our latest Lake Point initiatives and opportunities. So friends, while your parents are busy doing that, why don't you jump around the house like a frog?
As well, feel free to enjoy our earlier Lake Point Kids online family experiences on our YouTube channel or on our Lake Point app in the family resources section. Friends, I'm so glad you tuned in today. I'll see you again next week, same time, same place. Remember, God is good.